Okay, we have here another series convergence problem today. We've got the series from n equals 1 to infinity of natural log n over n dx. No, just kidding. We have the series for n going from 1 to infinity, natural log of n over n. And for this one, we don't care about finding the actual value of this series. We're just trying to see, does this converge or does it diverge? Now, I know for some people, they can probably just do this one in their head by looking at it. Sometimes these can become kind of obvious. But really what I'm doing is I'm kind of overkilling some of these, just trying to go through all the methods and get any insights we can, just trying to understand the process for figuring out if this is gonna converge or diverge. Now, the first thing I notice here is kind of looking at some of the lower values, like when n is equal to one, we end up with just natural log of one over one. Natural log of one is zero. So this first term is completely unnecessary. We can just kind of update our bounds and write this in as a two right here. And then there's a few different tests we can perform on this. I like to kind of just use a whole bunch of them, but one that's kind of interesting, kind of why I chose this, is you notice if this was an integral, it's a pretty easy integral to do because let's just change the variable to x because we do that to kind of show that it's a continuous variable. Well, this is gonna be perfectly set up for a u substitution for us. We'll look at this. What we need to do for this for the integral test is we wanna look at this integral, same bound, so we're going two to infinity. We don't care what the value of this integral is. That's not gonna be the same thing as the value of the series. We just wanna know, does this integral diverge or converge? If it diverges, the series diverges. If it converges, the series converges. But before we can do this, we have a few checks. First thing we need to know is, is this thing here going to be continuous? And let's see if I remember how to spell continuous. I think that's the right spelling. Now for the continuous part, Yes, it's going to be continuous. We could look at a graph and see it. Also, it's just kind of where are the problem points. You got a big problem at zero because there's a problem in the numerator and the denominator at zero. But after that, everything's going to be fine, especially going from two out to infinity. Continuous, no problem. Then we want to know, is this thing always going to be greater than zero? This is also no problem because clearly n is always going to be positive, right? It starts at two, so the denominator is positive. And then for natural log, all we need is n to be greater than one. So at two, it's positive. So positive, no problem. Last check, is this thing going to be decreasing for all of our n values? Now, that's kind of interesting because it is kind of close. If we first look at the two value, looking at a graph, it's definitely going to be decreasing for like larger n values. The interesting thing is when we look at smaller n values, like when we just look at two, this value is something like 0.346. I did it with a calculator before I... Did the video and then when n is going to be three what happens when n is three we have l on three over three and this value is going to be something like this is going to be something like 0 0.366 and the problem is between our n equals two value and our n equals three value we're not decreasing we're actually increasing right here it's going to be fine after that but for what we have right now technically it's not decreasing now you can think of this a few different ways, but I think the important thing to remember is like adding, you're just right here, we're just adding 0 0.3. So there's no way that adding a finite value, particularly a small finite value, this isn't gonna affect the convergence at all. So it's kind of a technicality that we wanna have it meet these criteria just to be careful, but this is really not gonna be a problem. And if we wanna be precise about it, all we need to do is just strip out one value, like our n equals two value. I can write this as, just that first value, strip that out, and then our series is just gonna become the same thing, but now we're gonna just start it at three instead of two. And so doing it this way, again, we're adding a finite value that's not really gonna matter at the end, but what it's gonna do is it allows this test to work, right? So now everything after that, let's assume you look at a graph, you could check out on four, but I'm gonna say now this is gonna be decreasing. Then when we do our integral test, all I need to do, let's fix this upper bound now because we're not doing it on n equals two, we're doing it on n equals three. So now we can go ahead and do this integral. We'll just do the standard thing, u substitution. We can be, you know, we don't, again, we don't care about the absolute, we don't care about the real, we don't care about getting the exact value of this. So you can kind of be a little sloppy actually. I mean, that's kind of what I do because we just want to know if it's going to, we just want to know if this is going to diverge or converge. So we'll do our u substitution. First, we plug in our bounds. So natural log at infinity is still going to be infinity. Natural log here, plug in three, we'll just leave this as ln three. Do the substitution, this is gonna be u du. Do this with power rule, we get u squared over two, evaluated from ln three to infinity. 
Well, then I don't care what's happening here. The infinity is going to be a problem because when you plug infinity in, you square it, you're still going to get an infinity. So this thing right here, this is going to diverge. And so if this integral diverges, we can say that our series is going to diverge as well. Now, one note on this, there are other methods that would probably be quicker and easier. Like if you're interested in efficiency, I think just a direct comparison. The reason what you could do is you could compare this to, I don't know if we would have the problem with two. You could look at this. We have this series. We could look at the series of n equals two of just one over n. We know that this diverges by p series because the exponent on the n is going to be one. When the exponent is less than or equal to one, this is going to diverge. So we know that this series diverges. But then with just a direct comparison to our series, natural log n, we're starting at two. This is always going to be greater than one because this one's going to be greater than this for all n values. If this one diverges, this one needs to diverge as well. Okay, there you go. Series convergence, natural log of n over n. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.